Hello YouTube, how are you? This is Jim again, and I wanted to make a video this time about my Prepper first aid kit. I've laid it all out here uh, on the kitchen counter. If you look over here, you may recall that from one of my other videos. It was downstairs in the basement on the shelf with a couple others just like it. It is just a cheap igloo cooler from Walmart. Works well. I don't recall what I paid for it. I bought it two or three years ago. It was, it was cheap though. And here we have some supplies. Uh, I've been working on this recently. Just really in the last three weeks I put this together. Um, a lot of this stuff, again, came from Walmart. Go cheap. And I put it together. So let me walk up here and we can take a look at some of this stuff. Just to start, basic band-aids. An assortment of sizes. Got a, you know the regular ones, the bigger one there. Got some, the little uh, fingertip and knuckle. Two by two gauze pads. Roll of gauze. I got some big surgical dressings. There's 12 in there. And that box I had already. There's 12 in there. Think about it is if somebody has like a, a cut, some kind of wound, you need to change the dressing on it pretty frequently, at least once a day. Now these are five by nine. That's really not that big. If you've got a good cut on your arm or your leg, you're gonna need that kind of dressing. So this, if something were to happen and we couldn't get any more, 24 of them really is not enough, so I'm probably gonna be adding to that. Probably add to the, the gauze too. Then you got an assortment of tape. First aid tape, a couple paper tapes, cloth tape, some uh, sports tape, some weatherproof tape. Don't forget your bandage scissors. Got those at the drugstore, paid just like $5 for it, I think. A little first aid guide that came with the uh, other first aid kit. A couple of ace bandages. Got a two inch there and I think a three inch. Got some burn gel. In case it burns. Here's a liquid spray bandage. Some alcohol swabs. Plenty of rubbing alcohol. There are the little bottles. Got some ibuprofen and some uh, acetaminophen. Cortisone cream, some neosporin. That's a, uh, that's a survival wrap. It's like an aluminum blanket. It keeps the body heat in if somebody's in shock. There we have an instant cold pack. Good for sprains and such. Got your Bactine, some eye wash, some glycerin gel. Here we have some hydrogen peroxide. That's very good stuff to have around to clean wounds. Then we have some, uh, Latex disposable gloves. That's a box of 50 I picked up over at Kroger. Over here, I also picked up an ankle stabilizer in case of a sprained ankle. There's one for the knee, for her knee. There's one for the wrist. Very important to keep the wrist, especially if you get a broken wrist and you can't get to a hospital. And a sling. Now here, these things in the gray packages, there's four of them. These are trauma, wound, oh, you can't see it. Let's see if we can get over here. Trauma wound dressing. Those are for severe cuts. I'm going to turn it over there. You can see how that works. I know it doesn't come out very clear. But if somebody really gets cut, you're going to need something to stop the bleeding. And last but not least, a surgical kit. An emergency surgical kit. I got this from nitropack.com. I paid $49 for it. Delivered to the house. You've got sutures. There's 3-0 and 5-0 sutures. There's some swabs. There are some, uh, there's like a, some I don't know what you call it, a blade, scalpel blade. You got a scalpel handle there, you have large tweezers, scissors. Here you've got the little, the clips, including the one with the curved end right there. That's for suturing. 
they have the curved needle in there too. It's a nice little kit. Um, it's something that I picked up because if you're in a situation where you can't get to a hospital and somebody's got a bad cut, you, you're going to need to sew that sucker up. Hydrogen peroxide, get it all cleaned up, sew it up, slap some bandages on it. I mean, it, it's, it's very basic. Now that is, um, that's basically my kit at this point. I'm going to be adding to it. One of the things, I put this kit together, I, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, just going out and buying all this stuff, and then I saw a video on YouTube from Southern Prepper 1. If you've not seen that guy's videos, I mean, this guy's like the uber prepper, but his first aid, I mean, you can't even call it a kit. He had a whole room full of first aid stuff. It was just amazing. And my jaw is hanging open looking at that thinking, I've got me a pretty big kit here. But of course, he's really prepared, which inspires me to keep on going because you never know. Most of this stuff never goes bad. Um, you know, you have to replace the, the alcohol uh, in, I think it's 2013, the hydrogen peroxide, I think it's 2014. You know, the liquid stuff and the little pills, you'll have to replace those. But to other than that, this stuff you could keep indefinitely. Um, and you can add to it a little bit at a time. At this point, what you see in front of you, I've got about $220 in it. I know that's a lot. Uh, don't buy it all at once. I'm, I bought most of it at, at around the same time. Uh, the, the trauma bandages, I got those. I think those were $8.50 a piece. I don't know why I bought four of them. I mean, one or two would have probably been fine, but I think and, you know, if you, you have one or two and you use them, I mean, you're going to need one or two more. So I just went ahead and got four of them. Uh, maybe I'll get some more sutures later, you know, but you can add to this stuff, like I said. But if you don't have a first aid kit, um, I would put one together. I mean, you may have one of these little guys. That's the one we keep in the kitchen. But I mean, it's just basically for bandages and such. But this one is uh, something that I think we can hold on to, and I think it may come in handy at some point. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, give me a shout out and I'll try to answer. Thanks.